What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the episode of Let's Prop In. If this is your first time here, I go with the Swear Swear. What we do on this channel is that we explore and showcase some of the most beautiful homes in and around South Africa. Today we are back in Camps Bay looking at this five bedroom luxurious short-term stay home. Before we get into it though, massive thanks to Knox Property for giving us this opportunity to share their listing with you guys. I'll put the booking details down in the description. As always, if you haven't yet subscribed, go down there. You know what to do. Subscribe, comment, tell us which areas you'd like us to see next. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's prop in. Starting the tour on this external facade of this home, just bringing attention to this well paved off area behind you guys. Very elegantly designed steel gate that electronically opens up and leads you to this well paved off motor court. Behind us, you do have a two car garage, but one detail I'd like to point out to you guys is that on this entire sort of walling, you do have the slate tiling throughout, very good use of stone. And as I've said, two car garage in front of us, you can park plenty more cars. To my left, you do have a smaller entryway. This is the pedestrian gate, pivot gate that you leads you to this main entryway. In front of us here is the main door to the internal space. This is a pivot door leading you to this beautiful stunning entryway landing because this is a multi-level floor you do have a lift which is very really much convenient and as i've said in front of us you do have a two-car garage travertine tile continues to up most of the space the main spaces in the home but finishing off the entryway next we're going to look at the floor above us which is the first floor where we're going to see the first bedroom Coming up these stairs, which brings us to the main landing on the first floor. Before we get into this first bedroom though, look at this incredible stunning views. Very clear day today, sunny day. So you can see as far as the eye can see, you can almost look at the horizon of the Atlantic Ocean in front of us. Very stunning view from this point. But bring you guys into this first bedroom floor. Finish the travertine tile continues in this main bedroom. But this is such a warm bedroom because of the use of this timber furniture pieces with, with the bed frame, the side tables, and also the art installation frame. Very stunning room, generous in size, but as you can look behind me, we have this floor to ceiling, glass panels that open up. This is actually a very functional and useful screen here. How when the sun does start setting later on in the day, this screen protects that harsh sunlight pouring into the space but when it is open you have this endless seam of endless field of view as you do have this Juliet balcony with frameless glass giving you this incredible infinity view in front of us you have these large mirror panels giving you that oh, emphasizing that illusion of space and just bring you guys this side to my left you have this beautiful suspended tv interesting industrial light fixture but then just bringing you guys outside here on the outdoor you do have your own private outdoor shower which is absolutely incredible because as you shower here you have these incredible ocean views in front of you magical space this one but this is not the only bedroom that has an outdoor shower interesting detail about this bedroom is that it has a sauna so as you open up this door you're greeted by a fully customized sauna. This is this is a, a very interesting detail and unique one to have a sauna in your bedroom. But if you are coming here on holiday, this is probably the, the best room to shotgun if you do like being in a sauna. So then just taking you guys back, this floor is spread between two wings. You do have the, the right side of this 
area or the right side of this home and then the left side of this home where we're going to transition into just going across this bridge area we now go to the second bedroom so approaching this wing of the property before we get into the second bedroom i'd like to point out this beautiful artwork installation piece very it has lots of depth to it which sort of gives you that that added personality to the space here so then in front of us just entering the second bedroom on this floor this bedroom here slightly bigger and the difference between this bedroom here is that it can be a self-contained unit as you do have a, a full kitchen area full kitchenette area we have a stove oven utilities here accessories and the fridge here but this bedroom does have balcony space which give you amazing views of the ocean in front of you but as you can see the space here is generous floor to ceiling window panels sliding doors which lead you to the balcony space and then if you guys meet me that side this bathroom this bedroom is also ensuite and in terms of the bathroom finishes very consistent and one detail which we've never seen before are these Hansa tap fixtures and mixers very stunning elegantly elegantly designed it's a minimalist approach to the sandway but as you can see in front of us very stunning details here floating vanity and a double sink here some some details the, the quality of these materials is something that you should expect but then bring you guys back at this side maybe just stepping outside just to show you guys the views that you have in here but as you can see the amount of natural lighting pouring into this room is incredible floor to ceiling when uh floor to ceiling sliding doors and i love the fact that the, the tile or the the curtain rail is hidden behind this suspended ceiling just giving you that more sleek look to this entire space yeah so just bringing you guys to the outdoor area and giving you a full sense of the view in front of us that side you do have uh, a clear view of the 12 apostles mountain and then to my left that side you have a incredible view of lion's head so finishing off this floor this was the two bedrooms that are predominantly in this floor next we're going to look at the main spaces and some of the other bedrooms interestingly enough we're going to finish with the main bedroom coming up these stairs and landing at this main space here just so of you guys just so that you guys have a proper bearing and understanding of where we are now this is where you can have a full view of the house to my right this is where the main bedroom is but below that's the first bedroom we looked at and to my right just below there that's where we looked at where there was a second bedroom but as you can see here this is where the entertaining aspect of the house comes alive looking at the pool area you have this balustrade or see-through glass hedging this entire space and then you have this beautiful step feature on the other side of this pool which allows you to sort of transition from this space here to the next one so just transitioning to the next space in front of us and if you did want you could use the lift to get to the floor but as you can see hedging the space you do have this see-through glass pan uh, balustrades which give you that endless field of view but even just looking behind it this this your backdrop from this house is incredible but then bring you guys here you have these sun lounges so on a, on, a, on a long day after work, you can come here, enjoy these beautiful sunsets as the sun does set this side of this area. Flowing this side, you have a more cozy and, and comfortable intimate setting here with this outdoor furniture. But even from here, the views are incredible. Then coming this side, you have a more of a formal dining area. To my right, you have a bright area, which is cladded with this slate cladding but as you can see here you have this large glass panel giving you this extra view of the top of apostles but while you are seated here you have these endless view almost 180 degree views from here you'll see that throughout the this home you have surround sound which for entertaining people uh, a lot of people rather it's very useful bringing you guys into the interior of the home you have these floor to ceiling sliding doors leading you into the indoor eliminating that 
barrier between indoor and outdoor as we come here very cozy area as you have this very plush rug sort of connecting the space together to my right you have this couch here and then either side here you have this very interesting open shelf pieces because they do have this internal lighting which at night is very glamorous then coming this side of this home i love the the way in which they allow the natural lighting to pour into this entire home by using these large sort of glass panels it's evident in this space here and you'll see above there is more that they used more clear street windows but as you come here i think automatically your attention is drawn to that magnificent artwork i think the eyes are sort of what sort of grabs your attention but very the statement piece that artwork but as you can look here very cozy complemented by that fireplace in front of us and this is a very very large tv is this the biggest one we've seen close. might just be close. close reminds me of the eye of africa one it does it does very large tv either side of it you do have open shelving very stunning space and then above us you'll see that the ceiling does slope this allows us to sort of take advantage of the backdrop which is the top of the it allows that end of the room to sort of open up and give you a pure and open view of the top of parcels. So as you guys come this side, you have this formal indoor dining area, very stunning. I love the use of this large mirror because this mirror does bring the outdoor into the indoor by sort of reflecting what's happening outside, but not only reflecting, but also giving you a bounce, a reflective surface for that natural lighting, incredible. And then as you come here, this is a full gourmet kitchen. In terms of this home, everything was done at scale. As you can see here, this is a breakfast bar for six. I don't think we've seen a breakfast bar for six. This is the breakfast bar of all breakfast bars. This is, yeah, this is the mega breakfast bar. And for you guys, this side here, fully integrated Siemens appliance here. You have everything that you need on a short term stay and now if you bring everyone this side, I know people are always interested in seeing this, you do have your own private wine cooler here. So you can store all the bottles that you're traveling with. And then as you can see, dishwasher here, and then just showing you guys here more of the functional spaces here. Behind this entire wall here, you do have your sort of linen closet storage facility. So then just bringing you guys this side, beautiful art pieces throughout, just sort of bringing some personality into the entire home, especially in the pathways leading into the main spaces. As I've, as I've said, this is the perfect illustration of what I've just spoken about. In front of us, you do have a powder room, which accents this main bedroom, this side. So as we walk inside here, very, very calm and elegant, bedroom we have these windows on the back side there bring you natural lighting very large king size bed and cabinetry space throughout here and don't forget this beautiful seamless tv i always like when the design of the tv is very se seamless with this thin bezel surrounding the entire screen very beautiful room and as i've said ensuite bathroom for this bedroom fully equipped bathroom there and then in terms of this room the advantage of having this room is that the flow from this room onto the backyard area in camps bay it's it's very rare that you get a garden area so this is something to sort of rave about you do have grass and a backyard area another bright area and you have this outdoor dining space this is a very calm and tranquil space I think that's aided by the greenery surrounding the space and the high walls give you that give that sense of privacy and serene feeling but from here as you look down the path the views are incredible but then bringing you guys this side you have an intimate setting here with this outdoor lounge area and then more garden space that side again which with, with the slate hedging the space and then in front of us you have this large glass panel bringing natural lighting into this pathway but we'll see on the interior part of this home but just bringing you guys to this first bedroom here on this wing of this property very stunning and gorgeous 
bedroom here the, the ceiling of this bedroom does sort of cascade because you do have as you can see above us you have this clear tree windows bringing you that natural lighting into the internal space floor to ceiling sliding doors here bringing you natural lighting but also brings a slight draft into this bedroom and then you do have your storage facilities here very interesting and cool side tables here that you have it's almost this gold metallic material for these for these side tables introduces a different element and a different pop of material and then either side here you have these suspended light fixtures as we come in here very beautiful bathroom very large this bathroom is the same length as the entire bedroom so there's plenty of space in here as you can see you have this travertine towel this travertine towel is very much resembling the the camps bay sandy beach area so it's it's, it's very much appropriate as we look in front of us you have this floating vanity double basin and this very large mirror in front of us this this bathroom has very large ceilings and as you guys come this side you'll see exactly why this bathroom has large or high ceilings rather and sloping ceilings in order to be able to put in that large glass panel being this natural lighting and this area is very much bright so one detail which we saw in the beginning was that bedroom with an outdoor shower this has the same so as we come out here we are greeted by this landing here and then outside here you do have your outdoor shower but if you do open up these sliding doors the indoor shower can feel like you have an outdoor shower Coming back inside, just one detail which I think is very much, it's, it's very logical but it doesn't happen often. It's just having the mixer away from the shower head. Typically what you'd have is the tap, this mixer underneath the shower head which from a functional standpoint you have to sort of open the mixer and get slightly wet but then if it is away on the other end of the mixer you're able to open up the mixer and not get wet at the same time. Um, just small things really. Then coming back to the main area, the main area of the bedroom, leading us to the main pathway of this home, which connects these two bedrooms together. But as you can see, this is where we come from, where I was pointing out this large window or glass panel. But then above us, you do have this beautiful skylight introducing this incredible amount of natural lighting into the space. To my left, you have this beautiful, interesting detail here. You have this art installation, and then in front of us, you have the centerpiece here, this sculpture, blue sculpture here, which reflects different surfaces and reflects different lights perfectly. It almost resembles the blue color that you find in the ocean incredible piece here that you have and then to my right is this is where the main bedroom is but just starting with the bathroom area where i think this is incredible use of stonework and finishes starting here floating vanity you have this marble finished decking here double sink and then you have this large mirror either side of this mirror you have these very urban light fixtures either side as you can see, heading this entire wall, you have this dark black tile, which is very dark and moody, very bold finish to this entire bathroom, standalone bathtub here with all its accessories. And then in front of us, you have your bidet, water closet. And as I've, I've said about this, these mirrors, the use of mirrors here just gives you that illusion of more space in this entire bathroom but just flowing outside to this outdoor decking area as well in this main main bedroom you have your outdoor shower but this outdoor shower has a view of the ocean so while you are showering on the outside you have this incredible view of camps bay beach and then as you look behind you your your backdrop is the top of hostels i think this is probably one of the best positions to have a, a an outdoor shower I'd like to say so myself as well. <laughs> it's, it's, it's absolutely incredible. So then leading you guys back inside. To my left, you have a double shower here, large rainwater shower head, taking you guys back to the main bedroom area. But just going down the passage here, 
as you can see these glass panels again bringing you that natural lighting to the passengers but then to my right this bedroom has its own dedicated walk-in closet full walk-in closet with open shelving and a large mirror this door does allow you to go directly into the bathroom but very large indeed if you need more space than this on a short term stay then there's there's, there's other problems here <laughs> and then leading you to this main bedroom this is the main bedroom of the entire home this because it is positioned where it is positioned and it has this sort of Juliet balcony surrounding the entire edge it almost feels as though it's cantilevered over this entire structure but beautiful use of glass here as you bring in natural lighting into the space also taking advantage of these incredible views here by using the see-through balustrades these sliding doors do open all the way so just to bring the indoor into your own bedroom as you look here very high ceilings surround sound very dramatic art piece there in front of us king size bed and you do have a very cozy fireplace here so while you are seated here and just contemplating the day you have this entire view in front of you so just finishing off this tour we're going to go to the rooftop area where you will see some of the best views you've ever seen before Coming up to the top level of this home, you have this very stunning fitness area here. And for a short term stay, one of the problems that my, myself and Noe have is that while you are traveling, you sort of lose out on your fitness goals. So that's why you have the space here to, to be able to continue with your fitness goals. You have a full gym here, weights, cycling machine here. You even have a bench machine or bench rather. With, so while you are gymming, I think these this backdrop is incredible. So if you continue sort of driving that way, you end up by the Nadano side, you end up by Hog Bay side. This area is incredible because of the views that you do have. And then behind you guys, you do have clear street windows, which give you this open view and clear view of the top of Apostles, which is the mountain that forms part of Table Mountain. But I love this fact that it's so open and airy in the space. But coming this side, and as you look down there, this is the garden area which we were speaking about before. But as you look out here, I think the, the clouds are starting to come or fall over the top of parcels, but it just makes it a, a little bit more of a dramatic scene out here. But then bringing you guys out, outside here, going up these staircases, and then we are met by this landing here of the skylight that we saw from below. It's, uh, <laughs> if you are afraid of heights, don't worry because it is very stable. But then bringing you guys to this front end of this property, where you do have this rooftop. To my left, you do have see these solar panels covering this entire roof. But from here, you can honestly see the entire of this section of Cam's Bay. In front of us, Lion's Head, behind us, you do have the top of Parcels, and then in front of us, you do have the entire Cam's Bay Beach area. So these are 360 degree views here, with the see-through balustrade emphasizing these views even more. So if you did make it this far in this tour, thank you so much for watching this episode. We really do appreciate you guys continuous support commenting and letting us know which areas you guys would like to see next but before we get out of here massive thanks to Knox property for giving us this opportunity to showcase their short-term stay property i'll put the booking details down in the description so from us atlas propping to you guys see you next week <laughs>